What's poppin? My name is Richie, and today I have a list of 50 props slash items for you guys which you can use in your maps, which I think have some special abilities. They just look awesome, or they can just do this. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Okay, before we start, this island will be available as a map in the description down below, so you can go in this map and check out these items yourself if you want to. Um, all of these items are sorted by like uh, kind of categories, so we have lights, we have special abilities, we have animated, and, and so on and so on. We have a bunch of different items here, which I think personally are very good. Okay, starting out first, we have the special ability items, and uh, these are like uh, the ones that actually have like some sort of ability which are kind of useful. Uh, so we have the Fortilla prop... Uh, gas station here which can explode if you punch it i'm not gonna do that otherwise the whole thing here will blow up then we obviously have the smoke from the spooky gallery we have the slurp container gallery which basically all of them can give you shield if you punch them or if you just stand in them then we have the special ladder from the first video i obviously had to include this here because this ladder you can basically you can basically make this ladder very steep as you can see and you can still walk up here which is amazing and very good for like custom builds uh, then we have the ice block, which has a massive amount of health, and obviously I had to include the first-person helipad, which you can use to create first-person maps. Okay, coming up next, we have the lights, and I personally think lights are very underrated, and people don't use them as much as they should. Maybe they don't know that some lights exist, but for example, this racing track prop, which is the, uh, I don't know how, how you would call this in English, but it's a very big light, which only turns on if you're actually uh, at the night time. So for example, you can see here, if I go back to normal, to like, let's say 9 a.m. and then we turn back off the brightness here. You can see this looks like this light is not even functioning. But if you go dark, this light actually works and functions fully properly. And same also goes for the uh, for this light from the new Tilted Prop Gallery, which looks like pretty cool in general. But if you turn it on, it does actually this spotlight, which kind of looks really cool in the night. So um, there are some props which are kind of like underrated because a lot of people don't do night maps or generally start on night maps and then they don't realize that these things are just specially to the night. Other lights which are very useful are, for example, this one from the Power Plant Prop Gallery, which I got asked so many times in my Modern House video. Uh, this one is the one that gives the cone. So if you turn a little bit like sideways or so something like this, you can see that it kind of shines in this little cone, which I think personally is a really cool effect, especially for modern builds. And then this one is probably the most underrated light in general because you can scale this down so tiny and it will not change the cone of the light and you can light out full rooms without people even seeing uh, the light somewhere. So you can kind of hide it somewhere, you can then hide it in the, in the roof or something and you can still light out a full room, which is amazing. And then we also have this one, which uh, kind of is the same vibe as the, uh, as the fish one over here, which just gives a nice pinkish glow. So for example, the scanner light here from the Dusty Depot and Dinner Prop Gallery, you can combine that, for example, with the devices here, and then you can pull out, where is it, the... Okay, you can pull out the perception trigger over here and then kind of combine them two together. And then you have the effect from this, and then you just use the actual functionalities from the perception trigger. Also, for example, the camera is also a classic for this one. Uh, then we have the uh, yard motor from the, uh, the yard prop gallery. Uh, then we have these little, like like tiny figures which kind of bounce around from the uh, Coral Cove prop gallery. And obviously the, the the big giant clock which also kind of shows exactly which time you have on the map. So you can see here that um, if I have 9 a.m., you can see it's the same one at the clock right here. And if I change that to 10 a.m., you can see it also moves, which is kind of cool. And next we have props that have actual channels that you can turn on and off. So for example, this Dark Tilted Prop Gallery uh, fire here, which is really cool, which is only in the Dark Tilted Prop Gallery. And also the same thing with the Dark Tilted Prop Gallery is the uh, the um, bats here, which uh, are kind of just unique to the, to the Batman theme there. And then also we have Tomato Head, uh, which you can also turn on and off, which is kind of cool. Up next, we have props that have buttons built in. They have like special ability sound effects and they have special abilities. For example, these, uh, this shelf here, which you can turn like kind of sideways, like this super secret agent shelf, which is from the Weeping Woods cabin, uh, which by the way, is not a gallery, it is a prefab. So you have to go in the prefab to get this one. Then we have this one, which makes this whole tone here. And then we have the classic uh, Doring Bear, which is in the game for quite a, quite a long time, which makes this uh, ringing sound. Okay, up next we have props that work better in combination with other props or other devices actually. For example, this giant TV from the Rig Prop Gallery works really good with the uh, matchmaking pole. So you can take out the matchmaking pole if it would work right now. 
And um, you can fit that in here. You just have to rescale it once, I think. And then you can put some kind of random matchmaking code in there. So you have to maybe go a little bit to off-grid here. Just put it in here. And then you, for example, could type in like any match code if you have one. Copy paste any matchmaking code in here. Make sure that you just use the numbers here, not the full code. And then, for example, you can have the Nike logo in there or whatever you want to use as a matchmaking portal art in there. Uh, and I think they work really fine. They also work with the small TVs, but I like this TV more because you can actually scale it in both directions, small and tiny. Then we also have these stones, which are my personal favorite to basically use in any type of garden build. Uh, they work super nice with all of the other. All you have to do is basically place them on some kind of background and they, they look amazing. And this one is probably my favorite block in general because it is, uh, first of all, it's only Weeping Woods prop gallery. But you can use this prop for so many things. You can use it as a nice wall because it has this super nice texture, which I absolutely love. Or you can use it as a floor uh, and different things. It is such an amazing uh, block. Uh, the reason for that is because of the texture, because it's so detailed. So I really like this one. Up next, we have the two props that are one-sided, which actually have a full covered side from the one side and you can look through from the other side. Same goes for this one over here from the black glass prop gallery. This is also a very old one. This is not, not new by any means, but I think it's really not used that much in maps because it's kind of specific, uh, but it's a really cool one because if on one side, it is completely black. It has this nice mirror look and from the other side, it is completely uh, invisible. Up next, we have my favorite nature props. Um, one of them is kind of new, which is from the Coral Castle Prop Gallery, which uh, we can basically walk through here through the lower part. If you do it a little bit um, high, like lower, you might still be able to walk through it, but there's a certain point where you basically get stuck. There's like a certain where the hitbox kind of starts and uh, you cannot walk through. So I like this one a lot. Uh, then we also have the classic leaf where you can jump off. And then I have one of my favorite old props. Uh, same goes with this one. Uh, these are just nice to make like hiding spots and like cover a bunch of entrances with them they're really cool same goes for the core in here really cool very og but um one of my favorite and next we have some good to know props for example these jonesies here which i get asked a lot quite where they are they're in the generally prop gallery b then we have this like little round stone platform which is kind of unique and kind of people want to use it for whatever reason then we have the keyboard king sign which is really nice i like this one a lot i use it in a lot of my bills then we have this very nice round thing here, which you can also walk through, uh, which can make for really cool scenarios. And then we have the uh, the Lonely Plank, which uh, you can build a lot of custom props with from the Frenzy Farm Prop Gallery. And uh, this one is really cool because it's like perfectly shaped. There are other props like this, but they're not that perfectly shaped. So if you want to build some custom stuff out of them, they might not look as cool as this one. Up next, we have the bouncy props. And obviously, there are a lot of more tires than just these here or these over there. Um, but these are more the ones that are a little bit more unique. This one is from the Ego Prop Gallery. Uh, obviously, they're all bouncy. Then we have the Pirate Ship Plank. We have the, the Springboard from the Paradise um, Palms Prop Gallery. We have the, the, the new tires here from the Racing Track Gallery, and then we obviously have the umbrellas. And last but not least, we have the props that have actual sounds. So you can use them for sounds effects or whatever you want to use them for. They're a little bit big, um, but they still have very nice sounds. And especially like in horror map, I can see this definitely being used very good. Uh, these are from the Fortilla Prop Gallery and also the same one from the Fortilla Prop Gallery. This is by any means the only ones that have sounds, but I think these have the most... Uh, distinguishable sounds and uh, the most unique sounds and yeah that is basically my full list of things that uh, i think are worth mentioning that my favorite props the best props to use in 2021 obviously i updated the list from the old one uh because we had so many new props and so many cool new abilities to do now in fortnite creative uh, so hopefully this was helpful hopefully you could find the prop that you are looking for uh, I will leave the map in the description if you want to check them out yourself, if you want to kind of like see them in close person or whatever. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you guys back in the next video. Bye.